What is my body count? Oh my god. <laughs> Are you in contact with Nick? What is my strangest fantasy? J roll the clip. <laughs> you know the vibes. Yo, who am I? I go by J. I ain't know no savage shit. Free JT, I am that bitch, but I am not your bitch. I still pop my lips, still snap. You know the vibes. It's J. Now this question, this is from Tamika Joseph. Hey girl, I'm interested to know if you, I don't even want to say her name. Y'all read the question? Yeah, no. Next, for real, no. Not even a little bit, sis. I'm not mad at you for putting the question. This has nothing to do with you. You curious, you want to know, but the answer is no, baby. Now we're going to head over to the questions from my Instagram. Jesus. Where do I start? This is from P underscore nutty first. How are you mentally? I am mentally stable. Amazingly great. Has it always been like that? No. Sometimes it's okay to take a break or stop doing things that you're used to doing and do something different. I got into reading, still do read to this day. I'm a busybody. I like to stay busy, I like to stay involved, I like to be helping out someone if I'm not helping out myself. I like to be helping out my brand, my mental. I am at peace with a lot of things. You have no idea. Next is from underscore t underscore 24 underscore and i just want to say baby girl congratulations for hitting your 1k before your birthday now your question was how old are you i'm 26 26 when is my birthday january 22nd i'm an aquarius i'm 26 what makes you happy what makes me happy is me being happy that's where it starts from i, I can't be happy if i'm not really happy then it goes into when my family is happy, my friends is happy. Me literally accomplish something in my day makes me happy. You know, me coming out of rough and tough, rocky, not so easy, very complicated situations makes me happy. Me seeing growth, not just from myself, but from friends, that makes me happy. So people's success makes me happy my own success makes me happy happiness doesn't just just stop at one thing but it definitely has to start with within me i cannot be happy for nobody if i'm not happy for myself and i can't be happy if i ain't really happy so it has to start from within and then it's like a flower it just boom and you just smell it from around the corner around the block yeah next this person is from love feet 313 do you have pretty feet my opinion, yes. I only like my toes when I got polish on it. Chocolate Drop loves them either way. Love Feet 313, can you show your feet? They got a little crack and stuff going on. I don't really know what's going on with that. That has nothing to do with me. Pretty feet. That pinky toe won't grow. Moving along. This is from Kelly May. Maya. Am I single? Yes, I am single. This next question is from... Child, your name. Seth Ulyssa? Underscore Seth Ulyssa? How do you feel about she makes? What is that? Would you go out with one? What is that? Did you mean she males? The females with the man body? No. No, 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 no. That's too much living. I ain't trying to live that much. That's a lot of living. Now you actually asked me a whole lot of questions. Like this whole screenshot is questions from you. So let's get it. Would you date outside your race? I prefer not to. I prefer not to. Ain't nothing wrong with y'all. Ain't nothing wrong with you guys. Sound like y'all president, don't I? Nothing wrong with other races. I just don't want to date you. What is your views about poly relationships? I think I always got to look this up. And I don't think I'm ever, ever, ever with this shit. But you know what? Maybe the definition might have changed it. Is. Yeah. No. When it's time and when that person is worth that time i am settling down having a family 
married kids and all but let me tell you something it's levels to that before i get in any relationship me and that person will be talking for years then i will be your girl at that moment you have already been my friend so now we're trying to build this foundation of our relationship with the title after that you know what i'm saying we got to go through some things some in and out some bad times some good times don't cheat on me though that's going a little bit too far and then we need to see if you can see yourself and if i can see myself having a future with you and if that's the case then we need to get mad i ain't sharing i don't want more than one no would you date a trans no 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 i am in love with a woman i learned the ramen body to be as pure and natural as it came out of his mama, Krajana. And I don't want it any other way. Yeah. As the first lady, what advice do you have for us fems? Ladies, what advice do I have for you? Don't settle. And that go for anybody. I don't care if you a fem. And that's just for the whole commu the community, the LGBTQ community. That goes for people that's not in the community. That just go for everybody that's dealing with somebody. Don't settle. Okay, speak your mind, be honest. You gotta be real, you gotta be upfront. Biting your tongue, holding your tongue. That's for the birds, it's dead. Ain't nobody doing that. Put yourself first, make yourself a priority. So if you wake up, if you used to working out, eating two meals a day, and then having your free time, don't let Chelsea call you FaceTime and throw your whole day off. Tell Chelsea, I'm gonna call you back. And if Chelsea get an attitude, she gotta go. If Chelsea is understanding, that gives you all the more reason know to think about her to call her back when you're done putting yourself first and getting yourself done. Stuff finished. Period. Next question. What is my body count? Oh my god. Is are we talking about men and women? Cause you know I, I wasn't always gay. <laughs> Let's just talk about women. Let's just talk about the life now. Five women. Two of them was kind of tied together because I had a threesome. Two. Four and a half. Now, my man body count ain't really large. Five and five. Like, no lie. Five men, five women. What's your turn on and off? My biggest turn on. How well we like connect does it take some time is it weird is it awkward is it like bro you the bro or you the homie or is it like something that you just can't explain sometimes it can just be something that's unexplainable if we have that unexplainable connection that is a uh, turn on for me because i've got to figure it out i want you around girl I just got chills Turn off. Ooh, I don't like nobody that's controlling. Mm -mm. Controlling to a certain extent is cute. Controlling in a grown mind state, not in no controlling in a childish mind state. Like that where you been, where you going, and all that kind of mm. controlling insecurities. Just certain stuff that I'm not gonna deal with. You gotta be a confident woman is a turn off. An insecure woman. I'm not here to build you, baby. You gotta build yourself. That that already is a red flag that you don't love yourself. And people be like, I do love me. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, Sarah. That can be a whole separate video. What turns you on about a, a woman in general? Beyond the body, you know what I'm saying? Us women, we have this certain type of drive and motivation and hustle and grind within us. Let me just watch you do you, baby, okay? Smell, voice, touch from a woman. Okay, last question from you. Probably not know a day. Okay, have you ever been in a feminine on feminine relationship? No, but I have. Dang, I forgot about that. So my count, my body count is six. I've never been in a relationship with a feminine woman. No. Next question What is my strangest fantasy? J Roll the clip. <laughs> Nah, but that's my favorite movie. Out of Wild is my favorite movie. And that scene, I want somebody to do that. Or let me do it for you. You know, let me pull up in the rain. Thinking about you. You done thought about me and this thunder and lightning and all this other crazy stuff that's going on in the world. And all I want to do 
is to come to you. And when I come to you, you come to me. Even though I came to you in the rain, you come out in the rain and you bring me inside. I'm getting chills again. If I had a chance, would you visit another country like South Africa? Absolutely, I definitely want to travel the world, you know, different cities, different states, different countries, all of that good stuff. So that was a good question. A few more questions from you. <laughs> what is my minimum strap size? Ah! To be honest, I wanna say six, maybe. And sometimes you guys, it's not even about the size. It's about how you work it. Like, do you even know what you're doing with that? Some people be having stuff and it's like, why? Why do you even have it, you know? Sometimes you may not even have it and you down there doing stuff that I, that you're doing and I think you got it. But I'ma just guess and say sick. Last question from you. You hear me? I love you though, I really do, I appreciate you. When should we expect you to drop your music? Cause sis, you dope for real, for real. Again, you guys, I am not putting a time on this. It's gonna come when it comes, it's gonna be when it's gonna be. But I literally want to put out visuals with the music. So trust me, I know, but it's it's a reason. It's a reason for all this. To, to Vida Sana. Uh-uh, I don't know what, I don't know what that is. If somebody speak another language, can you tell me what this is? Cause I don't wanna just like disregard it. I just don't know what that is. I'm gonna have to, Put that in the Google search. I'm gonna come back. I don't think that question was for me, cause I, I, I don't know. Just focus on you, baby girl. <laughs> J vibes, you know the vibes, you know the fuck going on, and I'm out this bitch. You know the vibes. It's Jay. <laughs>